Mr. Cash? Hello? Do you want it? Does this smell like a good pie? Yeah? What do you think? You want some? Oh my gosh, do you want some pie? Yeah, me too. Let's eat it. Okay. <laughs> Hello, vintage neighbors. Welcome to the Vintage Girl Next Door. My name is Lacey. Today we're back in the kitchen and it's been a minute since we've done a cooking video. So I thought that would be fun with Easter coming up. I thought it'd be fun to look through and find a good Easter recipe. And I happened to have this Good Housekeeping magazine from April 1954 that had the perfect thing. So the recipe we are making today is Susan's strawberry cheese pie. It has pictures and step-by-step -step instructions, which I thought was very nice. And then it says at the end, Susan is planning to serve this wonderful strawberry cheese pie at a Sunday night buffet party for some of her school friends during Easter vacation. There you have it. It seemed like a really yummy kind of springtime pie with the strawberries and everything and also it's kind of like a cheesecake i guess i have not tasted it yet if you want to see how i made this pie then let's get into it really quick before we get started i want to thank birch living for sponsoring this video birch is a premium mattress in a box company that makes mattresses and sleep products that are stylish, comfortable, and environmentally conscious. Their mattresses are non-toxic, made in America, crafted with organic and natural materials, sustainably sourced. Unlike synthetic mattresses, the wool in these mattresses makes it hypoallergenic, both allergen and mildew resistant. Throughout the creation of their mattresses, Birch ensures that their materials are produced and harvested sustainably. I have had my Birch Lux mattress for three months now, and I love it. One of the things I like most is how comfortable it is uh, compared to my old mattress. It is super comfortable and also very breathable and cooling. Mr. Cash can get very cuddly in the nighttime and this mattress keeps us both nice and cool. It is definitely kitty approved for softness and comfort. It was super easy to have it come right to my door, get it set up. Instead of having to go and shop in a store, you do get a 100 night sleep trial along with a 25 year warranty. Birch delivers your mattress right to your door for free within the United States. Every Birch mattress comes with two of their Eco Rest pillows that are made from recycled plastic bottles, breathable and better for the environment. I love my Birch Lux mattress, and I think you guys would too. If you're looking for a new bed, you could check out Birch. You can click the link below or go to birchliving.com slash Lacey for $400 off your mattress plus two free pillows. Thanks again, Birch Living, for sponsoring this video. All right, let's get cooking. First, we are going to make the cookie crust. And we are starting out with one cup of flour, a quarter cup of sugar, and one teaspoon of grated lemon rind. It didn't say zest, so I did use the small end of just a grater. I'm just gonna give that a little mix. And then we are going to make a well. and add in a half a cup of butter in pieces. It's a lot of butter, <laughs> but I am here for it. Now one egg yolk. Oops. Yes, it's fine. Just scoop it up. <laughs> and a quarter teaspoon of vanilla. Then we are going to use a fork and combine all of those things. And it took some work, not gonna lie. This took a minute. 
<laughs> until it is all mixed in and then we are pressing it into a ball of dough. I was a little concerned that it was too dry, but once I started molding it together, it actually uh, seemed just fine. So it, it, it worked with just a little bit of extra crumbs. See, not too bad. Then we are taking two thirds of that dough and pressing it into the bottom of the pie pan with the back of a spoon. And this was honestly slightly harder than it looks because the dough kept sticking to the spoon and I tried wetting it and then I tried putting butter on it and it still was just very, very stubborn and wanting to stick to the spoon and my fingers and everything. But finally I got it. If it was just, if you did like a pressing and like kind of smearing motion, <laughs> then it worked a little bit better. Instead of just like pressing down, you had to kind of like press and pull. And the remaining one third went around the sides of the pan. I'm trying to get that as evenly spread as possible. And now I'm going to cover it and put it in the fridge overnight. Now it is the next morning and I am preheating the oven to 400 degrees and going to use a fork and make some holes in the bottom of the cookie crust. Then it is going in to bake for seven minutes. And while that is baking, we're going to get started on getting stuff ready for the filling. So I'm just grating some more lemon rind and some orange rind just so that that's all ready to go. And pulling out our pie crust. And I think in hindsight, I would bake this a little less time, but it ended up okay. So now for the filling, we're going with 20 ounces of cream cheese. That is about two and a half packages. And the cream cheese was a little powerful for my sunbeam mixer, you guys. I had to, had to help it along a little bit there. We got there eventually. And now I'm adding one cup of sugar, blending that in a little at a time with the cream cheese and then one and a half tablespoons of flour. An eighth teaspoon of salt. And a quarter teaspoon each of the lemon rind and the orange rind grated. Three eggs and it said to add them one at a time. So that is what we are doing. Bloop. <laughs> that one went a little rogue, had to scrape the sides. And our last egg, and then one egg white. Two tablespoons of heavy cream. Or it said you could also use evaporated milk, but I used cream and then a quarter teaspoon of vanilla. We've got that all nice and mixed. And now I'm going to pour it into the cooled crust. I was afraid it was going to be too much. It ended up fitting just perfectly. I had to be quite careful lifting it and putting it in the oven though. I did not want it to spill. And now we are baking it for seven minutes at 400 degrees and then turning down the oven to 200 degrees for another 15 minutes. And 
and uh, I was very surprised at how much of this puffed up. Look at it. It is glorious. Also, I think I would have not cooked it quite as long next time. Look at these strawberries. They are beautiful. So I am just cutting the tops off and in the recipe it just had you hold them and then you had whole strawberries that felt they felt a little large for that for me. So I ended up cutting them in half. And I am arranging them on the cooled pie. As you can see, the top of it kind of cracked and like sunk a little, but the recipe said that was totally normal. So we are good. Now I am arranging them as nicely as I can and pouring over the top three quarters cup of currant jelly. Melted. Melted but cooled. So it is slightly solid jelly. This is the finished pie. Look how beautiful it is. It looks like springtime and perfect for Easter. I think it has a very good presentation. It looks delicious. It smelled so good. All right, I am so ready to taste this pie. It looks delicious and also beautiful. I am very impressed with the way this came out. It was really easy to make, super easy to put together, and didn't take very much time at all. So all in all, I feel like it was a really easy to follow, really straightforward and quick and easy recipe. If you are interested, I will leave the recipe in the description in case you want to try this pie out for yourself. So let's cut a piece and let's see how it tastes. I'm excited. That didn't go very smooth. <laughs> All of my strawberries fell off. It's fine. Okay. Well, let's see. Give it a taste. Yum. You guys, this is really good. Really good. It's, I mean, it's pretty much a strawberry cheesecake, I guess, with jelly on top, but it is delicious. I love the cookie crust. That's really good. I can kind of taste the lemon and orange a little bit. So like it has a hint of tartness, which is great. And then the strawberries and then the jam, like it just, it just really comes together nicely. I'm excited. This is a good one, you guys. I think I would make this again, maybe with different topping too. Like you could do different kind of jelly, different kind of berries, like this is, this is a winner. I kind of like this crust better than like a graham cracker crust, I think. It's really good. Like it's sweet, but not too sweet. Sometimes I feel like graham cracker crust gets a little too sweet, but this one is it's just right, I would say. If anything, I think maybe I would bake the crust a little less time because I think the crust got a little brown, like on the bottom, um, not burned, just like a little more, a little crispier on the bottom than what I would like. This one is a winner. I love it. It is so yummy. I'm not really sure what makes this a pie versus a cheesecake. Let me know in the comments. What do you think? What's the difference between this pie and a cheesecake? Because it's full of cream cheese, eggs, like, even the lemon I, I've had in some cheesecakes, so I'm not really sure what makes it a pie <laughs> other than just calling it a pie, but either way, it is delicious. 100% would recommend. Let me know if you try it. I highly recommend this pie. It is delicious. 
Thank you so much for watching and thank you for being here. Let me know in the comments, would you try this pie? Are you gonna try to bake anything for Easter? I would love to hear about it and hear from my vintage neighbors. Also, some exciting things are coming on the horizon. I am finally going to attend Viva Las Vegas this year. That is a rockabilly vintage kind of festival celebration in Las Vegas. It happens every year, usually around Easter time. And I have never been, and I'm so excited to go. And let me know in the comments if you're gonna be there. I would love to say hi and meet some of my vintage neighbors in person. That would be amazing. So I do have a Viva video coming up. I'm going to show you the outfits that I'm planning to take and do just kind of a little vlog of my time there. So stay tuned, that will be in the works coming very soon. So if you are new and you have not subscribed already, please do so. We would love to have you join our vintage neighborhood for more of our vintage fun. If you like baking videos and want to see more of those, don't forget to give this one a like. It really does help out my channel and I sure appreciate it. I hope that wherever you are in the world that you are feeling safe and feeling loved and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!